Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all of my fellow viewers here on KF Plus Lego Mastery. Today, what I have for you guys is a new video about my newest engine, which is an inline four Lego vacuum engine. Now, this is not just any inline four. As you may have noticed, the pistons are actually two by two. So as you can see, they are two studs wide in this way and two studs wide in this way. Now, what makes this engine so unique is of course, most people build their engines with 4x4 or 4x6, sometimes even 6x6 pistons. Now, this is probably the smallest piston type you can um, correctly get out of a vacuum engine. And this effectively halves the size of an actual inline 4 with the 4x4 pistons. If you remember when I built that one, it was twice the size lengthwise as this one but I managed to make this super compact and super simple. Now you notice it has the valves back here. So yeah, um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and run this. Anyway guys, now that we've actually ran this engine, let's take a look at some of its inner workings and go more into depth about how it works. So taking off the cylinder heads here, I'm just using the four by eight plates. As you can see, we can get a solid look into all the cylinders. Something you may have noticed is that this engine is actually cross plane. Now most inline fours in real life are actually flat plane meaning the crankshafts are flat, but cross plane means they're like this, so they cross over. It's hard to explain. So the benefits of having a um, cross plane engine is that you get each cylinder fires by itself, which means you get a much smoother power delivery as each power stroke is delivered every 90 degrees of full crankshaft rotation. You'll also notice that I have implemented SVS or single valve system into this engine. And I have to use these one by two with the two holes for intake because there are no other pieces that are two studs wide that are able to effectively get the same amount of airflow. So in addition to having the SVS system, You'll also notice it is parallel single valve system where the valves are longitudinally parallel to their crank. So as you can see, the valve crankshaft is separate from the um, piston crankshaft. It's ultimately a, a much more compact design. I'd recommend trying it as it's not too hard. As you may be able to see in there, it's actually driven by a chain, like a chain. So yeah. It also uses a slide throttle. So when you pull on the throttle lever here, it opens up this part inside here. 
and controls the amount of airflow that gets into the engine. I really like these slide throttles, by the way. I think they're very effective and very useful and they do their job exceptionally well, better than the butterfly throttle valves that opened like this instead of upwards and downwards like this one did. So I definitely recommend using a slide throttle from now on in your engines. I definitely seen an increase in performance because there's less leakage. Other than that, it's a very simple engine. If you want a tutorial, please be sure to hit, hit me up down in the comments below. I may make one, I may do it this weekend, I may do it in the next couple of hours and it'll be uploaded by tonight, I don't know, we'll see, but uh, yeah, so that's about all there is to say about this engine. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy today's video about my inline 4 cylinder with the 2x2 two two pistons, I think I'm going to call this the micro i4, because it has the micro pistons. But yeah, so that's going to just about wrap up today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. And I will see you all in the next video. Leave your suggestions down in the comments and I will see you there. But see you later.